action. Are you looking for things to do in the Hutchinson area? This is your weekly entertainment guide. My name is Rachel Hickson, and this is the buzz from the Kansas State Fairgrounds, where they are preparing for the fair this coming week, and that's basically all that's going on in Hutchinson. Stay tuned for lots of events at the fair. We are at the Next Tech Wireless Grandstand where they are setting up for the concerts that are coming up this week. First up on Friday is Loverboy and Survivor, two hot 80s bands. On Saturday, popular country artist Josh Turner will perform here. On Sunday, the Texican rock and roll band Los Lonely Boys that you can remember had hits in the early 2000s will be here. Monday, there will be a demolition derby. Tuesday, country legend Char Charlie Daniels and his band will perform. On Wednesday, Christian hip-hop recording artist Toby Mack will take the stage. All of these concerts will start at 7.30 p.m. There are still tickets available. Go to kansasstatefair.com for more information and to buy tickets. And live music and entertainment is scheduled throughout the weekend and the week at the beer garden here at the fair and the Roadhouse Bar and Grill. I am here with Joanne Brown and Charlotte Summers, director of the Kansas State Fair Museum at the Lair White House. They change the exhibit here every year. What is the exhibit here this year, Joanne? We're calling it the Year of Fair Food and we're highlighting the food concession stands on the fairgrounds and also all the competitive foods exhibits. And what are other reasons people should visit here, Charlotte? Well, it's so colorful and so fun. We're uh, highlighting the old time uh, vendors like the Chicken and Noodles, Guadalupe, Taffy Lady, the Kansas Dairy Bar, the Peanut Man, as well as some of the old competitive uh, food contests like Spam and CNA Sugar and Fleshman Cheese and Pillsbury. So it's a fun place to cool, come and it, to see, it's very colorful this year. You'll enjoy it. It is. So stop by, check it out. It is free and it is very air conditioned. It feels really good. Thank you guys. We are under the Next Tech Wireless Grandstand where the Kansas Dairy Association Dairy Bar has been completely rebuilt this year. This is Terry Schwartz, a Carlton dairy farmer who actually also has a degree in architecture. He is a member of the Kansas Dairy Association and he is responsible for designing this entire building. Tell me about the first phase, Terry. Well, what we're trying to do is represent a typical Kansas dairy operation. We started uh, thinking about this project about a little over a year and a half ago and uh, phase one was developed and we built it last summer. Phase two that we just finished this year started right after the fair last year. And this year this was actually taken all the way down to the concrete and completely rebuilt. Tell me what your inspiration was for this Terry. Well, the idea was to go back into the 50s and 60s, the, the retail outlet for all the, the ice cream bars and, and stands that were available in the country. And once we got started on the, on the design concepts, we, we carried it through to the construction that we're just finishing up now. All right, well, it looks beautiful and it is not completely done yet. They are installing televisions where they will be displaying products and other things. And there will be a ribbon cutting to celebrate the opening of the new dairy bar at 11.30 a.m. on Friday. A new attraction at the fair this year is the Rooms Mobile Escape Game. This is essentially a puzzle that you have 30 minutes to complete to escape the room. It is $25 per player with eight players allowed at a time. And if you complete the puzzle within 30 minutes and escape the room, you get free ice cream from the dairy bar. For more information on this, go to theroom-mobile.com for more information. One of the very best things about the fair is the food. Rusty Allen has had another booth here for 29 years, but this is his new booth specializing in southern food. Tell us about your booth, Rusty. Well, we're doing a southern fried food. We got uh, ribeye steak sandwiches. We got pork chop sandwiches. We got fried green tomatoes. We do a chicken basket. We got uh, homemade fried pies, a strawberry delight. We just wish y'all to come out and visit the fair and have a good time and stop by and see us. Thank you. Thank you, Rusty.
And there are some new foods to try at the fair this year. This is from reporter Amy Bickle, who will be at the fair every day this coming week, reporting on it for the Hutchinson News. She says, here's some things you should try. Uh, funnel cake hamburgers, and I guess that stand also sells macaroni and cheese hamburgers. Um, s'more funnel cakes, portobello mushroom cheese bites, deep fried stuffed soft pretzels. That sounds really good. Mountain oysters, we all know what that is. Um, yeah, and that's the end of the list. So uh, look out for those new fair foods. So let's say you're at the fairgrounds next week and you're either lost or you're looking for something specific. You're gonna go to your smartphone and type in hutchnews.com slash fair map. And this is what is going to come up. This is an interactive map of the entire fairgrounds area with all the buildings on it. I really want a Pronto Pup, so I'm going to type in Pronto Pup, which I've already typed in, search for that. So I am this little blue dot here, and all of these show you where you can get a Pronto Pup, and there is one right near me. Let's go. This has been another edition of The Buzz. Stay tuned to the Hutchinson News for extensive fair coverage starting on Friday, and have a great weekend.